Yo, what is up guys? Paul James here. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we are going to be building out this website right here from scratch using WordPress. We're gonna be using, we're gonna be using nothing but free themes and free plugins, no paid themes, no paid plugins, everything free on this tutorial, other than hosting, of course. You will need hosting in your own web server, but I'll show you how to get that set up too, don't worry. Anyways, if you've been following along with our free lead gen series, by now you should have decided on a niche and location. You should have picked out a uh, keywords and all of that stuff. Now it's time to build things out. If you missed those previous videos, I will leave them in the description for you to watch after this video is over. And by the way, if you wanna follow along with our free lead gen mini course, all you have to do is subscribe, take the bell notification icon, and then I will update you every time I post a new video for this free course that I'm putting together. But before we get into it, can I ask a huge favor of you. Please smash that like button for me right now and drop a comment and let me know how you're enjoying the series so far. All right, let's hop on the computer and let's build out this website. All right guys, so let's just go ahead and jump into this. Now I am starting off this tutorial with WordPress already installed. If you've never designed a website before, stick around. This is gonna be really, really easy. I'm gonna try and make it as uh, least technical as I can. I don't know if that made much sense, but <laughs> I think you get the point. We're gonna try and make it so that if you can type out an email, you'll be able to build out this website. We're using a free software called WordPress that will come installed with every hosting provider. You're gonna need a domain name and a hosting plan if you don't have one. A domain name is like your thing, like mine is called cedarburgroofingpros.com. I already picked that up prior to this video. Um, they're not very expensive, like less than $10 a year. Then you're gonna need a hosting plan. This is what allows someone to come and visit your website. Think of it like someone who has a server in their, in their building. You're basically renting a spot of one of those servers so that you can give your website, your domain name, Cedarbird Roofing Pros or whatever yours is, to anyone you want and they can go on their computer and, and view it. You need a hosting plan for that. Okay, so we don't use wordpress.org or wordpress.com. When I say we're using WordPress, we're using the free version of WordPress, which comes with our hosting plan. When we buy a hosting plan, it comes with it. Hosting plans, they vary anywhere from $3.95. If you pay like the whole year up front, they'll usually give you a really solid deal like that. Or it could go anywhere up to $10 a month. But still, it's relatively cheap and affordable. That's why I love this business model because the barrier to entry to get into this stuff is incredibly low. I don't know any other business where you can start up for that little amount of money. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video to my hosting and domain tutorial. So if you already have hosting and a domain name or you know how to do that stuff, you can uh, you could just follow along with me right now. If you don't have that stuff, you're gonna to wanna to check out that link in the description to get hosting and domain name set up. I use Bluehost and that's how I'll show you how to set it up in that tutorial. Okay, but we're gonna skip right to setting up the website so that we keep this video interesting and so that it's not boring. So here's what I have installed right now, WordPress. And this is where you'll be after you follow that tutorial in the description below. That tutorial's free to follow by the way as well. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I've set up WordPress. This is what the back end of WordPress looks. Any changes we make on the back end will be reflected on the front end. This is what everyone else sees, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to install some things. We're gonna need to install a theme. So a theme basically changes the look of your website. You can see different themes have different looks to them as I'm hovering over them. WordPress has a lot of themes available. Because I'm trying to keep this series free, I normally use a, a, a paid theme, but because I'm trying to keep this tutorial series free and, and keep the cost as low as possible for you guys, we're gonna use a, a free, free themes in this video. So I'm gonna go to add theme and I'm gonna search for a theme called Astra. And they have a free version of Astra right here and we're gonna install that theme. Once it's installed, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna activate it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start installing some plugins. So I'm gonna come under plugins, I'm gonna come to add new, and you guys can just follow along with this video step by step, okay? If you get overwhelmed, pause it and rewind at what I just did and, and follow along with me. Seriously, this will help you get set up. Okay, so we're gonna search for a plugin called Elementor. 
Elementor is a uh, it's a block builder. It's a page builder. It allows you to build out websites without being a programmer. It's kind of like drawing on a sheet of paper. <laughs> it's really cool. I'll show you how it works. So install this one called Elementor Page Builder and then activate that plugin. We're going to need a contact form. Anyone who knows me knows I usually use my own software for this, but we're going to uh, use a free plugin to do this in this tutorial to keep everything as cheap as possible. We're going to come to plugins. We're going to click add new. There's a lot of things that my paid one does that this doesn't do, but we won't even get into that in this video. I just want to get you up and running for now. And once you land a client, I encourage you to come back and pick up my, my paid software programs, which will definitely help you uh, take things to the next level. But for now, we're going to use contact form seven. We're going to keep it super basic. Okay, so type in contact form seven. I want you to install this plugin and activate it. Okay, next, we're going to install a plugin that's going to allow us to style contact form seven. So let's go back to add new plugin again. And we're going to search for this one called HT Mega Absolute. All right, it's this one right here, HT Mega Absolute Add-ons for Elementor Page Builder. Go ahead and install that plugin. Okay, one thing I didn't mention when it comes to domain names, and uh, you can see my domain name is Cedarburg Roofing Pros, because we decided in our last video when we did keyword research and niche research and selection. By the way, I'll leave links to those videos in the in the description below, so you could go watch the entire free lead gen series, the mini course we're putting together. I picked a generic name, cedarburgroofingpros.com, because now I can sell my leads to any roofing contractor. I can sell it to Bob's Roofing. I can sell it to Harry's Roofing. I can sell it to John's Roofing. You get the point. You want to keep things super generic, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead now, now that we have our generic uh, name picked out. And by the way, I, I don't always put the city name in here. I did in this particular scenario, but sometimes I'll do like reliable roofing pros or affordable or best roofing pros. Okay, but in this scenario, I just did the, the city name just because it made sense to do it. All right, so let's get started, shall we? We're gonna need to uh, create our homepage, which is our main page. This is the page that people come to when they see our site and we need this page to be rock solid to actually convert the lead, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to all pages and we're going to click add new. All right, and we'll go ahead and uh, give this page name. We'll just call it home and we're gonna click edit with Elementor. So this is what that Elementor plugin does. It allows us to use a page builder, which is kind of just like drawing. Okay, so I want you to think of everything we do on our site in different blocks. Okay, so there's blocks and then there's like different like columns that we can add. So this section here is a block and just kind of like you would draw this on a piece of paper, you can do the same thing with Elementor. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this little plus sign here and we're going to select what we want. So what I want to do with this page is on the left side, I want to have some text and then on the right side, I want to have a contact form for them to for us to collect their information, if that makes sense, because this is a lead generation website. So if I want to have text on the left and a contact form on the right, I'm going to need two columns for this particular section, right? So I'm going to select the one that says two columns. And you can see here, Elementor put a block up here with two columns. And at any time, if I just click on the block, I can uh, select that section. And you can see on the left here now, it's gone and it's selected that section. I'm going to do a couple of things here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to change the content width of this box to be uh, well, I'm just going to change it to be a thousand. Oops. There we go. A thousand. OK, and that, what that does is it just leaves some nice space on each side of the block, some nice white space, which I think is going to help make the website look a little bit better is why I did that. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make the, the height of this a little bit taller because right now it's like really tiny. So I'm going to put a minimum height of, I don't know, let's just do, let's just do an even, an even 600 for now. All right. And that's all I'm going to do with it for now. 
Now I want to go ahead and I want to start actually inserting things in here. So remember I said I wanted on the left to be some text and on the right I want to be a contact form. So let's start with the text. I'm going to click this plus button. I'm going to drop in a heading here and that's how easy Elementor is. It's literally you go in and you just start dropping things in where you want them. That's why I really like Elementor. So um, let's just change this text to say for a free quote and we'll, we'll do some other things with it later. Maybe I'll just center it for now, but we'll change the colors and all that stuff later. Now, if I ever want to go back to see what other things I can put in, I click these little squares up here. So if I click that, now I can see all the different things that I can add into my website. Okay, so I'm going to add in a, another heading underneath it. I'm going to call this one call now. This is going to be my call to now call to action. This is the main thing we really want people to do. We want them to pick up the phone and call us so that we can forward that call off to a roofing contractor. All right, we're going to go back up here, click the blocks again. We're going to insert another heading. And again, we'll style this stuff later. For now, we're just putting placeholders. And we're going to put a placeholder phone number here for now. And actually, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead, let me uh, save this as a draft. You can save your changes anytime you want by coming down here to this green and hitting save draft. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go buy a phone number right away for this, just so that we don't have to go back and change it. All right. I'm going to use my dial. I've got a Dialhawk demo account set up. By the way, I'll have a link in the description to Dialhawk. Don't go to the main website of Dialhawk and buy it over there because it's going to be really expensive over there. I'm going to do my best to put some promotions together um, and you can click the link in the video description below to check out what Dialhawk's current promotions are and I'm going to do my best to get something that is uh, cost effective for you to get going. All right, so once you get inside of Dialhawk, we're going to need to go to campaigns. We're going to create a new campaign. We're going to call it Cedarburg Roofing because that's our site. and. I'm going to say that I'm probably going to end up charging my roofing client $50 per call. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to come over to phone numbers and I'm going to buy a new phone number for this. Um, so I'm going to search by area code and Cedarburg is a 262 area code. I'm going to hit search. And I can see there's plenty of phone numbers here with a 262 area code. doesn't really matter which one you go with. Just, you know, pick one that you think will look good. I think this one looks pretty good because it's got 5120. I just think that kind of stands out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy this. It's only a dollar to buy this phone number. All right, and that's going to import it inside of my Dialhawk account. So let me click edit on this. For the friendly name, I'll just say cedarburgroofingpros.com just so I know what the website is. And um, I'm going to turn on email notifications so that I know whenever someone calls or leaves a voicemail. Um, I'm not going to put any call forwarding in yet because I don't have a client yet that I want to work with. But we'll get to that in a future video. So we'll leave this blank. But what I am going to do is I am going to turn on the voicemail feature so that if we do get any calls in the meantime, it will be sent to voicemail. And I'm going to say thank you for calling Cedarburg Roofing Pros. Please leave a message and we will return your call. Okay, save. Done. Our tracking phone number is set up. We are ready to take in leads from this website. Let's go ahead and pop that tracking phone number in there. Uh, I don't want all of that styling though. So I'm going to actually de delete this just so all that styling doesn't go in there. And I'm going to just type in the phone number. Uh, okay, it's 262-435-5500. Uh, okay, cool. Let's center that. Um, all right, we're going to click these four squares again. And I'm going to put a... Let's just do this text editor right below this here. And this is going to be, you know, just like some text. Maybe we'll just say... We are, if you live in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, 
and are looking for a roofing contractor to help you with your roof repair or installation, look no further. We are a professional roofing company and can provide you with anything your home might need. All right, cool, good enough. So there we are. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this draft and I'm gonna hit this little gear icon here or actually I'm not gonna hit the gear icon. What am I looking for? Yeah, I think it's the gear icon. I don't know why it's not opening. Oh, here it is, it's up here. I'm gonna hit this little hamburger menu up here on the upper left and I'm gonna exit to dashboard. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create our form. Okay, so that, that page is good, it's saved, but we need to create our form. So we're gonna come under contact here and go to contact forms. And Contact Form 7 already put in a form in there for us, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change things up a little bit. So let's click Edit on that form. This is why I don't like Contact Form 7 and why I use a paid one, but um, again, I'm trying to keep this free, so you'll just have to bear with Contact Form 7 and some of the things that it's missing, and uh, we'll just have, to, uh, <laughs> just have to go with it. All right, so I don't need any labels in my contact form. Like labels are basically, it's gonna show what each field is. I don't really need labels because I'm gonna put default text in each form field so that it, um, you know, it, it says what it is. Um, let me show you an example. So this is a, an example lead gen site. And you can see if I were to have labels above each field, it would actually say what the label is. But since we already say what it is inside of the field, we don't need any labels. So we're going to start by deleting labels because we just don't need them. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's just bring this up a little and let me fix the formatting a little bit here. So the first thing we're gonna do is the submit button. We're gonna make this say, get your free quote, since it's a roofing company. That just makes sense to say, get your free quote. What we're gonna do is we're going to say your name. That's a, that's a good field, um, just to say your name. Let me see if I click text. And I call this name. And for default field, I put your name like this. Okay, so that's how the that's how it would look. This is how we want it to look. Just like that. Okay, now if we put a star after the text name like this, um, that's going to tell it that it's a required field. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna change email to say email, and we're gonna put a placeholder field here that says your email. All right, and that's also that's also um, required. We're gonna delete these other two, and instead we're gonna copy this text name field. And like I told you, this is really confusing. So please pause the video and just copy what I'm doing here because like I said, I, I really don't like this contact form seven. Uh, but in the, in the sake of keeping this a free tutorial as much as possible, we have to use it. Okay, so I'm going to put phone here for this field. And I'm going to say your phone because we want to collect phone. And then maybe we'll just do like one more field that says, uh, we'll just say type for the field. And we'll just say repair or install, question mark. So we wanna know whether they're looking for a new roof or if they're looking for a repair. All right, so that's it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save this now. Um, you'll wanna to go to your mail settings as well and you'll want to uh, configure this stuff. So who you wanna send the leads to. For now, you could just put your email there, um, who it's coming from. Maybe it's gonna be your email there too as well. Uh, the subject line. So for the subject line, um, let's see, where are our form fields?
we can say, I don't know why it's only showing on me because I have to save the changes. Let's save them once and see if that's why. Okay, I don't really know why it's showing that, um, the different form fields here, but I'll show you how to put them in. Basically, you just copy them from right here. Um, so like the text is name, that's the name of that form field. The text is phone, that's the name of that form field. This text is type, that's the name of that form field. So I could say for the subject here, Cedarburg Roofing name needs quote, and I believe that that should work. Um, and reply to, this isn't working because it's not the right email field. So if I replace it with the right email field, that should work. Yeah, that resolved that error. So let's save that. And then this is going to be the, the message body right here. So for the message body, we'll just say lead info or something like that. And then we're going to put each field. So we have name, email, phone, type. And then we're just going to copy each field. So name, it's the email field. Again, just pause the video and copy this stuff because it's really confusing. If you follow along exactly what I'm doing, you'll be able to copy this all and maybe it'll start to make sense. I hope. Okay. So that's it. This is going to trigger an email to send to me from my website with this subject line, Cedarburg Roofing Pros name, whatever name is filled in the form needs quote. And then it's gonna provide me with the info that they filled out inside of the quote form. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay, I'm gonna copy this short code right here, this contact form seven short code, and I'm gonna save that because we're gonna need that. Let's go into pages and let's pop that in there. So let's go to homepage and click edit with Elementor. That was the page we were just working on. And we're going to I'm going to add that in there. It's actually not the widget we want. I think we want the short code or the HTML widget. Oh no, short code. Okay, so we got the short code in there. Go ahead and apply those changes. Looks like I might have messed something up. So we'll, we'll figure out what I messed up and fix it. Um, I'm gonna go up to the hamburger menu and I'm gonna go exit to dashboard. All right, I see what I did wrong. I put the asterisk here on the actual name of the type of field it is, and the asterisk actually needs to go on the type of field that is. So not the name, but the, the field type. So trial and error. <laughs> okay, so see what I did there? I just moved the asterisk over to where it says text rather than where the name of the field was. So if I save those changes, that should fix that error. We'll check it out. All right, so uh, also I noticed my HTMega add-on is not showing here. I, I think maybe I forgot to activate it and that would be the reason why I wasn't seeing it in the uh, editor. Oh, it is activated. So let's see, where is it at? Okay, I see what happened. The HTMega add-ons requires PHP version 7.0 or greater. So if you see this error, just contact your web host and ask them to upgrade you to PHP version 7.0. I'm gonna pause the video and go do that right now. All right, cool, I fixed that. It took like two seconds and now we've got our HT Mega uh, add-on in there. So now when we go into Elementor, we should see things the way we're supposed to. So let me go back to pages and let me go to edit with Elementor. And I'm gonna leave editing on this minimal so that you guys can actually see the different things and different errors that I encounter as I encounter them, just so that you guys can see that nothing ever goes perfect and you can kind of see the mistakes I make and how I resolve them. Okay, so now with that added, we should be able to see a uh, contact form down here under HTMega, I think it should show the contact form. Pretty sure. 
There it is, contact form seven. So now we can drag this over there without having to do anything. And we need to select a contact form. So we only have one, so that should be pretty easy. And uh, for the style, I'm gonna do style two for this one. And right now it's a little hard to see because we still have to change the background. Um, so we'll we'll edit the background and we'll we'll come back to styling this. So let's go ahead and edit the background. So what we need to do is we need to click this up here so that we can open up this settings. And if we go to style, I want to add in a background and we'll do a normal background and I'm going to put in a or we're going to do a classic and I'm going to put in an image here. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so in order to make this look really niche specific, I mean, sure, you could go ahead and you could slap like a background color on there. But I normally like to use some t sort of picture of an industry related to this as the background. So Pixabay is a free stock image site where you can find stuff. It's hit or miss though. Like sometimes you'll find stuff that looks good and sometimes you won't. Like this looks pretty good for a roofing contractor. Um, let's put it on there and see what it looks like. I mean, it's really trial and error. Sometimes stuff doesn't look quite right and sometimes it does. I normally try and download the 1920 images. Um, but that's going to download it. We're going to come here. We're going to hit choose image. We're going to drag the image in. And we're going to insert media just like that. And that's going to insert it in. Um, and then if you want to change what it looks like, I normally do attachment fixed, which is going to make it so when you scroll, it stays put, which I think looks really slick. I like the way that looks. Um, again, it's just preference, all of this stuff. Um, for the size, you can change that to like cover, that'll kind of put it more into view as well. Um, but yeah, I think that looks good. Like, I mean, I think like just with that little bit amount of stuff that we've done, like it's looking pretty awesome, right? All right, so let's click, click this square icon up here. Let's do a little bit of adjusting on this form now, now that we've gone ahead and um, tweaked that a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into, I believe it's style. And if we come down to input here, we can mess around with um, this stuff a little bit just to tweak it. I think it's might be even text area. But one of these things, we can actually move them around so that they're a little bit closer together. It's not that one. Well, okay, so that changes how big it is, which is useful to know. I think we need to change the uh, margin is what it is on the input style. So if we click style and input, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's it. So if we put a one here, that's gonna move them a little bit closer together. And then we can play with all of this stuff if we want the text to look different, um, the buttons. So I'm not really sure yet of what I want the color scheme of the website to be. I guess we should start playing around with that and we'll kind of decide on that a little bit more um, as we jump into it here. So. Let's uh, let's add in our other sections and we'll come back to that. So I'm going to add in another section down here. And on this section, I wanna display maybe like three columns and show the hours. Um, I don't know, maybe like a, a thing to call again. And then maybe just something talking about customer service. So Elementor has this little folder icon, which they have like pre done templates and blocks. So a template would be like a full blown website. I don't usually like to do this cause they don't really have anything we're looking for, for specific to lead gen. But I do use this block section quite a bit and you can go through here and you can kind of find a block that fits what you're looking for. Let's look through here and see if we can find a nice looking three column box. Just see what we can find here. Um, I mean, there's a lot to choose from, as you can see. But I'm looking, this, this looks good right here. Uh, it has little icons in it, so I'm gonna insert that. And I need to create a free account, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I logged into my account, and it popped that in there. Let's change the header to say, need a roofing contractor in Cedarburg. All of this stuff that you're putting in here, by the way, like these different things, this is gonna to be totally relative to whatever keywords that you did, right? 
depending on like what kind of keywords you did. Let's change the heading to an H3. Oops. H4. So I want it to go a little bit smaller. That's not actually changing it. I think I need to style it somewhere else. So we'll leave it in H2. Um, we can deal with this right here. There we go. Okay, good. Now we're going to go and we're going to make this ours. Let's just say for most contractors, they offer some sort of emergency service. We'll just say 24 hour emergency service. And then maybe we'll put their hours below. We don't really know what that is yet, but we'll just put 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we can always come and change this depending on who we're selling the leads to. Uh, for this part, we'll maybe put call and then we'll put our tracking phone number again. Let's copy that. Uh, we don't want styling to change though, so just type it 262-435-5120. We'll say need a quote. And then for this one, we'll just say ready. And I'll just say something like, maybe you can come up with something better. I'm just going to say, we're standing by. Help is just a call away or something like that. <laughs> All right, let's change these icons up. Um, we can do that right here. Go to the icon library and let's type in help. So this is like a helping hand. That looks good. Let's change this one. Let's do, a, let's do this phone icon here. And then let's change this one to like a clock maybe. Yeah, that looks good. Boom, that quickly. I mean, you guys can see now just like how quickly you can actually dial this stuff in. All right, let's install insert another uh, column, another section. And again, we'll come back through. We'll adjust all these colors. Let's save our changes though. Save as draft. That's always good practice. All right, let's save our changes. And let's add in another section. We'll do a blank one this time. And I want to do like an image on one side with like uh, text on the other side. This is going to be like our main SEO section where we can really put in a lot of content and put in a lot of uh, our, our keywords and stuff like that. And again, you're using the keywords from your doc, from your spreadsheet that we did in the last video. All right, so I'm gonna drag this over a little bit, maybe something like that. Uh, we're gonna need to find another picture to put in there. So let's go back to Pixabay. I'm gonna type in contract here. If we can just find like a picture of someone with like a hammer or something, <laughs> just something that makes them look real professional. So it's taking a while to load. I'll pause this until it loads. All right, so that loaded. I'm just gonna grab this picture of a construction worker with a hammer, because I feel like that'll translate fine over to roofing. We'll do the small one for this one. We don't really need a huge image. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're going to click the plus sign here, and we're gonna drop in an image. And then we'll choose our image up here. Click upload, we're gonna pop that in there. We're gonna do something for this one though. For the alt text, I want you to put your main keyword here. something like that. For the title, you could do the same thing, do a different keyword. All right, and we'll insert that media. There it is. Um, let's do a heading here, followed by another text editor right underneath it. And we'll say professional roofers, roofer in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. And let's just, uh, let's wing this here. Again, <laughs> you're gonna wanna put some good SEO content here. This should be having your keywords in it and um, you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna say, if you're looking for a roofing company in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, you can count on 
I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video and write this up so you guys don't have to watch me go through this and I'll show you what I did. All right, so here's what I got. If you're looking for a roofing company in Cedarburg, Wisconsin that you can count on, notice the keywords, right? Look no further, our friendly roofers and roof repair professionals are highly trained at resolving many residential roofing problems. From leaky roofs, tear-offs, and more, you can feel confident that with just one phone call, your residential or commercial roofing problems will be eliminated and our friendly staff will be happy to guide you and provide you with a 100% free quote. Now notice that I did a good job with putting keywords in there, but what I didn't do is I didn't make it sound like a robot wrote them. Like it still sounds good. I'm just gonna come in here and modify some colors of this. Maybe mess with the typography. I like to use this font called Poppins. Play with the, t the height of this a little bit. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's make this one, this text color here black as well. Okay, good. Save that just to make sure our changes are safe. I mean, this is coming together pretty nice, right? Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, one thing I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a different background color to this section. So let me select this section and let me go to style and we'll do classic. And for color, I'm gonna do like a really, really light gray, like not even that big of a difference. Save that. And you can preview your changes by the way, anytime by clicking preview changes and you can see what it's gonna look like in the browser, but it's really, really coming together nicely. All right, so that's good. Now, if you wanted, you could do something else, like you could drag in another section that had social media icons, which is good because you're gonna wanna go and create social media profiles for this brand that you're creating because that's going to be backlinks. You're gonna link them back to your website when you create the profiles. Um, so we, we could do that. I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's go to add, we'll do one column and then we'll find the social media icons in here. No, they're in here somewhere. I think you can just type too. There it is, social icons. So there those are. All you have to do is come in here and say where you wanna link it to. Once you have them available, you just type in your Facebook page link and your um, Twitter link and your YouTube and you can add in more. So just go in and choose all, they've got all of them in here. <laughs> so if you're not sure what social media sites to create, that'll also give you an idea of which ones you wanna create. And there's different styles here. If you wanna to choose to a square style or a circle, you can do that too. Um, I don't know, let's go with the square. And let's add in a headline in this block as well, above it, that says something like, connect with us. I'll center that. Okay, um, we'll leave that the way it is. Let's save that draft. Let's refresh our preview just to see what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good. Maybe we could make the background color the same as that. I think I will do that actually. Um, so this is uh, something cool you can do if you want. You can right click on any section you create and click copy. And then you can come down to the section you wanna copy and click paste style. And what that'll do is it'll just paste the style. So like that just pasted just the background color for me. So if I refresh now, this is gonna look like one section now. So I think that looks really good. Like we've gone, we've created a really, really nice look, looking designed site. We just need to play around with these uh, styles a little bit more now. So let's go and do that. All right, so let's come up to the top here and let's mess with this stuff. So get a free quote. Let's go to the styling of this. Let's change the text color. I'll do, oops. We'll do a red for that, just so it really stands out. Change the typography here. Use that Poppins font that I like to use. Make the uh, text really large so that people really know what this is. Um, I'm gonna come back to this here and I'm gonna do a, I think we can do a background overlay I just want to see what this will look like, where we choose a color like black. There, that looks really nice. So you can choose the opacity of how dark you want that to be, but 
I like that because it makes everything really pop. So I'm gonna do that on the background. So the way I did that was I clicked on my section, came to style, and I clicked background overlay, and I chose a black color, and I just made the opacity and turned it up a little bit. Okay, let's do this call now button. Um, we'll do this white. Yeah, that looks really good. With that background opacity now, we really got things dialed in nicely. Um, for the font family, we'll go with Poppins again. We'll bump that size up. I don't want it quite as large as the other one, but still pretty large. And I'm gonna do something else here. Under Advanced, I'm gonna unlink these, uh, these margins here, and I'm gonna bring the top margin down to like, to like negative 10. Actually, let's leave the margin and let's instead do that with the padding, I think. Oh no, it is a margin. I think there might be another way to do that. Let's see. Is it under here? There may be another way to do that as well. Is there a line height? Yeah, that kind of does it too, but I think, I think we'll do it with the margin. As you can see, all this stuff is just trial and error. Well, that's good. It looks fine, so we'll leave it. Um, and then this one, let's go ahead and edit this one. We'll do white again. Pop into the font. I want this one to be really big. Yeah, that's good. Let me show you something else I like to do on this as well. If we come over to content, we're gonna make this a link. And the link is gonna be tell with a semicolon and we're gonna do the phone number, 262-435-5120. And what that's gonna do is whenever someone clicks on that, it'll automatically, if they're on a mobile device, it'll automatically dial the phone. So that'll boost your conversions up a lot. All right, let's edit this one. Style, do white again. And my typography here. Center that. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Um, we could add in another like headline that said like the, the keyword again, but I think it's pretty clear what this site is all about. Uh, let's edit this button and play around with this over here. So let's click the contact form and under style, we're gonna go down to button and typography. I actually like, well, yeah, let's just let's just go with it again. Let's go with Poppins again. Choose a size so it's like really big. Really clear call to action now. Um, let's see, text color. Let's do red again, just like our big call to action button up there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, save as draft. So we are pretty much done, I think. Um, there's these little icon colors, these hover colors. Maybe we wanna change those red just so that they match. So there's a normal color and there's a hover color. So we wanna change the hover color to red like that. I don't know if there was anything else. I think that was it. It's looking. There's a border on that one that was turning it green, so I'll fix that too. All right, now to make this easy, we'll just click copy, and then we're gonna paste the style on both of these ones. So whenever something is the same, you can easily do that. Oh, let's fix this. Let's copy this, and then paste this style here. We do want that centered though. There we go, done. All right guys, so We've just gone and we've built out a official website for lead gen here. We've set up our tracking phone number. Again, if you don't have tracking, be sure to check out the specials that we're gonna be putting together for that. At any given time, we will have different specials going on and I will leave them in that link. Um, go and get this set up. 
this is uh, not hard to do. It just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, and you can get your own lead gen site up and running fairly quickly. Um, and you can build out separate pages like this. So I recommend, let me show you how to set up a menu quickly. I'm gonna publish this page. And I'm gonna exit to the dashboard. So right now we have no menu, but what we could do is we could go and we could create more pages, right? We'll create another page called like roof repair, and then we'll have a whole page built around roof repair with content on it and all of that stuff. And then what we want to do is we want to add those into our menu. We go to appearance, we go to menus, and we're going to create a menu. We'll just say top menu, create it, and then we add in the pages we want. I only have this two pages, the home page and the sample page, but we add in the pages we want in our menu and we save it. And then we come up to manage locations and primary menu, that's gonna be the top. We'll just select that menu we created and save the changes. All right, so now if we refresh this preview, you can see it changed the menu. We also need to set this as the home page, okay? So let's come to settings, let's come to reading. We're gonna select the home page and select the home page we just created. So now what that's gonna do is whenever someone visits cedarburgroofingpros.com, it's gonna direct them straight to the homepage like that. Okay, really cool. Really simple to do, right? Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I need to cover. Comment below if there's anything that doesn't make sense or if this was helpful to you. Um, if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, um, I hope that this was really helpful, guys, because lead gen is not hard to get going. This is something that anyone can do. I believe anyone can do this. This isn't hard. And, um, you know, just like that, we've built out a really nice looking website. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is how you build it all out. Remember, again, I have links to how to set up hosting if you don't have hosting set up. And I have a second link with special promotions going on on Dialhawk if you need a tracking phone number. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. I know it was a long one, but we covered so much. Be sure to subscribe and tick the bell notification icon and comment below what you thought of it. And don't forget to smash that like button. Till next time, guys, I will see you in another video. I am Paul James. Peace out. Yeah.